I have got a fever. I called the doctor. And you know what he said the cure is? Body language mastery. Quarter three enrollment, gentlemen. This bad boy is coming in hot. September 27th. September 28th. September 29th. September 30th. October 1st. Five days. That's it. You want to go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Scroll down and click right here to get on the waiting list. Click on this little beautiful link. Put your email address in right here. Hot dude at hotdude.com. Click subscribe. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. You're on the list. What does this course include? I've summarized it right here in three beautiful bullet points a head to toe video breakdown a female body language that shows you if she is sexually interested in you or not thousand dollar value three weeks twice daily webinar q a sessions for quarter three and quarter four that's right if you register for quarter three you get access to quarter three and quarter four if you registered in quarter one you're the smartest man listening because you got access to quarter two and you got access to quarter three, and you got access to quarter four. That's 160 hours of coaching per session. Rolo Tomasi has confirmed he will return. Richard Cooper returning. Ryan Stone returning. Carl from Black Label Logic returning. Donovan Sharp returning. Ed Lattimore returning. And far, far, far many more men are coming into this. I mean, we had a guy who is a tax and uh, Wealth management, uh, wealth management asset protection expert come through there and give some guys some amazing financial advice. If that's not enough, access to a men's only Facebook group that allows you to connect with top level men in the community in order to expand your network of power, knowledge, and authority. It's a $2,000 value right there. You get all this tremendous value for four ninety seven, Gentlemen, quarter four, the price goes up to five ninety seven. 2020 this program is done the webinar facebook body language combo game over you will not be able to get in so you need to get in right now while the getting is to be got modernlifedating.com forward slash body language let's check 
the hot dudes of the hot dude army right now. We have got my man, Mr. Reliable, Eric Von Weedle. What's up, baby? He says, good morning. Glad YouTube didn't can your channel after what happened yesterday. Everything's good. I found out what happened. I'll explain in a little bit. Winston Wolf, what up, baby? Tommy Shelby, what up? CJ Mutter, what up? Greg B, what up? Uh, Red Crusader, Josh, what's up? Um, Rule Zero Dad in the house. What's going on, my man? Thank you for coming in, sir. The mustache just got 10 days longer. That's right, baby. The authority mustache has returned with my authority to bless you with the knowledge that is coming through Body Language Mastery Quarter 3. Guys, I'm so excited. We are looking at... I just I can't I don't want to I don't want to say any numbers but yesterday I had a conversation with the vice president of sales and marketing for teachable.com a face-to-face -face Zoom meeting after I did the VIP uh, stream for the body language mastery guys to finish up the Leslie episode I can't say much but I can say surprisingly uh, Teachable wants to keep my business and they know exactly what I'm doing. They're okay with it and they want to help me grow. The quality of men that is already in this, I could stop this thing right now. I could stop enrollments and the quality of men that are in this group is already astronomical. Quarter three we're bringing in even more high-value men. Quarter four, even more. We're creating such a powerful network for the men that are motivated, who have a vision in life, who have goals that they're heading towards, whether they be sexually, physically, financially, or like myself personally, I choose all three. Remember, make money, make muscles, learn game. Those are the big three. If you start as an 18-year-old man, and you start focusing on that. By the time you're 27, you're going to be making six figures. You're going to have six girlfriends. You're going to have six-pack abs, baby. It is nothing but the truth. Those are the big three every man should focus on. Um, let's go on. Uh, Chichard Ruper says, John, selling my HTV Vive system today will put towards consultation and body language mastery 3.0. Our man Hans. 17-year-old kid got a job in Denmark as a fry cook at McDonald's. Worked until he had the 397 for the quarter two enrollment. And then he quit. Gentlemen, whether you want to do something or not, the decision is already made. Your behaviors will just justify your decision. Hans is 17 years old. He made up his fucking mind. He said, I'm getting into this goddamn course. I will go work at McDonald's. I'll slave away. I'll cook French fries for everybody. I'll get this money and I'll get the fuck out. And he did it. So the men who make it happen are the men who make it happen. The men who don't make it happen, sit down on the bench and let me know how a life of inaction is working for you. I got no regrets. Peter, my man, what's going on? Uh, Red, Red Josh says, oh yeah, loving the patroller mustache. Red Crusader, formerly known as Scruffy Turd, a quarter two body language mastery guy who's making some serious improvements in his life, his psychology, everything. Red Pill Mamba, what's going on, my brother? Vandy, what's up? Ben, what is up? Jacob, what's up? CJ, what's up? Julian, my man, what's up? Loving the stash, this is Christian Martin, what's going on? Hans is a pimp. Casey, thank you very much. I wore the shirt you bought me yesterday. Um, truly just a great, great group of guys we got in here, man. I'm, I'm just so thrilled and happy to have you guys in here. Um, let me go ahead and pull up the stream because the back end of the YouTube is still not working. So, uh, yeah, yesterday we had a little so bit Julian, of, we had a little bit of a problem with the stream and I think I may have found the culprit. Um, somebody who's been watching me 
uh, not a big fan of mine. As you guys know the story of Thomas, the guy who married my mom. Apparently, he's obsessively been watching the show. And I think he is the one that reported me yesterday, even though I was completely within my legal rights to do that. Because as you know, I've done the Jubilee shows, the dating shows. I've covered those in their entirety and never had a single problem. But yesterday we got it. I got some nasty emails from him. Um, he's angry. He's, uh, he's madder than Joe. And uh, I think that's why we had what we had. But I actually got on a conversation with a YouTube rep because I am a YouTube partner. And so um, I had a conversation with the YouTube rep and we're working on it right now to get my channel cleared and good to go so we no longer have to uh, worry about uh, copyright infringement stuff because I'm not copyright infringing. Everything I'm doing is 100% legal and there is not a single illegal thing that I'm doing. Um, so Thomas, uh, go ahead and suck a big wee wee if you're watching. Because you probably are. I hope you fall off of your boat and drown in the ocean. Just joking. I love you. I was just a joke. <clears throat> a joke for science. Um, what? What are we gonna talk about today, guys? Who, boy, guys, I have created a gorilla pimp. Um, I have. Got a guy who is in body language mastery who has been having insane success. Absolutely insane success. And he has been kind enough and thoughtful enough to be documenting his entire um his entire sexual success and he's been doing it on a blog um just truly truly remarkable the success that this guy is having i mean un just unbelievable how much he has internalized body language mastery, how much he has um, just made such a big change in his life. You know, he, he was very diligent too. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. Uh, he's very diligent too. He, he showed up to all of the web, almost all of the webinars, right? Showed up to almost all the webinars. He participates in the Facebook group. This guy is a young man. He's 27. He's a good-looking guy too. Okay, let me give you some caveats here. He's a very good-looking guy. Okay? He's he's like he's like a mixture of Andrew Garfield and a young Johnny Depp from Edward Scissorhands, minus all the cuts on his face obviously. Um he's got a good sense of fashion. He's 27 years old. He uh he's he's doing a uh good paying job in tech industry and he joined body language mastery and and he is he'd only had been with one girl and since i mean this past weekend he wrote about it um he had i think he had four girls in 48 hours so uh we have successfully created a monster in all in the most positive way cj over on instagram saying what's up how's it going my brother uh guys watching on instagram come on over to youtube youtube.com type in modern life dating come on over to interview with the man episode 121 we're about to do field report breakdowns from a body language mastery quarter two student um it's just unbelievable the life-changing success I've made with this guy. And that's the thing. He's got it figured out. 27 years old, set for life. Literally does not need to worry about a single thing dating-related for the rest of his life. 
He's got it sorted out. Because once you internalize this stuff, once you pick up the inf information, once you learn everything, um, it doesn't leave you. Okay. And before we jump into it, uh, real quick, just so you know, just so you guys know, send me emails now. August thirty first, I'm going to be in Orlando, Florida, for Hot Dude Con. It is going to be amazing. The hottest of the hottest dudes are going to be meeting up, and we're going to have a good old time. Uh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We're going to link up in real life. There's power when you guys link. When you link up in real life, there's extreme power in that. And um, that's what we're going to be getting. I know some people are flying from uh, all the way from Seattle. We got a guy flying in. So it's going to be definitely a good old time. A good old, good old time. <laughs> M. Garcia, what's up? Says, I love the Sergeant Slaughter look you got going on. Thank you. I'll be growing the full beard. You know, it's like the, you're supposed to – one of the fashion things right now is like you have a mustache and then the mustache is more pronounced and you have a full beard around it. So I shaved my beard in order to grow that today. Hopefully, I'll be looking nice and hot, dude. Uh, by August 31st for Hot Dude Con, we're going to we're gonna have a night on the town, boys. It's going to be a fucking amazing time. Um. That being said, shall we jump into it? Real quick, I've got to do my little song and dance. The songiest of songs, the danciest of dance. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Modern Life John. M O D E R N L I F E J O N. Follow me. You can uh, come on over and. See what's going on here on Twitter, where I engage on a daily basis. I now have Twitter installed on my phone, so I can be angry wherever I go. <laughs> I'm just joking, but uh, come on over, follow me on Twitter. I, I engage with people on a private level there. Doing pretty good. We got 1,579 followers. Trying to get 2,000 by the end of the year. Numbers really don't matter though at the end of the day. Uh, but you know, I am on there, and if you want to pick pick my brain, come on over. Come on over, baby. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little bit of a review here of a blog that is very well written, I must say. Um, we're just going to talk about what really has been going on with this man who is in Body Language Mastery, Quarter 2. Um, an amazing student, guy who is really very smart. And he's not like, you know, super in-your-face, aggressive, and and outspoken. He's kind of a reserved, uh, keeps-to-himself type of guy, you know. But he's got the big three. He's got the money. He's got the muscles. And he's just got the game. So there is a lot of quality information that we are going to go through. So let's just jump right into it. The uh, website is right here, dvctales.home.blog, dvctales, T-A-L-E-S, dot home, dot blog, okay? And he talks with his introduction right here. I believe this happened, yeah, this was a February 10th, so this was before he was in the program. <clears throat> so uh, he, not having a lot of success here, I believe, you can actually see... How as the time goes on, this is uh, February 18th, you know, this is um, all of the different things. For example, on Saturday, I approached a 30-plus lady in yoga pants. She was probably on 5-6 scale. I used the, do you know any good coffee shops around here opener? It was short, and I got a basic vague answer before she walked off. Okay. This puts me at a cold seven approaches for the year compared to nine in total last year. This is March 10th on 2019, okay? Saturday night game. So let's read about his experiences before he met me and before he got into body language mastery, okay? He said, I had a pretty good night, okay? This, his standards for a pretty good night are pretty low at this point in his life. No offense to you, buddy. I'm not trying to talk shit, um, but I'm pretty sure you have better nights these days. I went to Salsa around 9.40 and did a few dances. They host swing in the same venue, so I popped over and swung a bit. I talked to one lady who was a teacher a bit. 
The venue was crowded with unattractive old people and extremely short Latinos. Imagine a bunch of five-foot-tall guys built like linebackers in floral, short sleeve shirts. Around 10.30, I bounced to a popular bar. 10.30 is early enough that it's easy to get inside. I did a quick survey of the venue. No seats were open at the downstairs bar. I went upstairs to the bar and ordered my vodka soda. An Asian, 5'6", five, uh, five, took seat next to me, and I asked to close her tab. I opened with leaving already. Oh, no, excuse me. And, and sat next to me, and she, the woman asked to close her tab, not him. I opened with leaving already. She responded that she was waiting for her friend and had another one downstairs. We probably talked for 15 minutes while I drank, and she waited for her friend to show up. This was fun for me. I teased her a bit and was relaxed. Then her friend showed up, and she went downstairs with her friend. I went downstairs as well, danced a bit, and got another drink. I approached two girls in matching outfits, tight pants, and midriff tops, and asked them, are you wearing matching outfits? They were not impressed, and I sputtered out. In retrospect, I should have plowed it and kept spitting lines, but I didn't. See, he didn't he didn't have the body language mastery training at this point, so his, he's kind of a little all over the place. I went back to talk to the first girl. She was with a very cute, tiny Korean who got up right when I asked the first girl to introduce me to her friend. The first girl was welcoming and invited me to come dance, then ran off to the bathroom with her cute friend. I did not manage to find them again after that. I think this is one of my best nights out so far. I did two cold opens, chatted with a girl for 15 minutes. This puts me at seven cold approaches for the year in comparison to nine total last year. Got to get those numbers up. Those rookie numbers. Now he's killing it now. Um, so as you can see, the um, the skill level is a little bit um, a little bit lower here, right? It's not as high. Um, he he's he's his barrier and you know identification for success is a little bit lower at this point compared to um, where he is right now. And we're going to see an evolution in his change. Um, so again, all you guys on Instagram watching me right now, come on over to Modern Life Dating. Go to YouTube.com, type in Modern Life Dating. Come on over. Join us, Interview with the Man, episode 121. We got 50-plus people in the chat. Um, anybody got a link to the blog? I'll link it to you. If you guys want to follow along, I'll link it right now. Um, the link is there. There you go. <clears throat> Dave Hilton says, what is body language mastery? Where do you run it? Uh, Dave, go to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. And all the information you need is there. You will be able to clearly and concisely understand what it is, what I'm offering, and when it is available. Again, it is available September 27th, September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, and October 1st. After that, registration is closed. You cannot get in. And the price goes up to $597 for quarter four, which is the final quarter. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, so this was March 10th, right? We see a couple, uh, we see a couple of the evolution. And I really want you guys to pay attention to the evolution that he's had here, right? Here he says, I have, I did two cold opens today. He's, he's, you know, he's thrilled about this, all this stuff, right? Very interesting stuff. It goes on to April um, and May. And then again, as you can see, there are pretty much, uh, he's here, he's 18 and 0, 18 cold approaches. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I think he he did not have any sexual success with this until um, he got into body language mastery. Because I believe his notch count was one, and he's already been with three girls since body language mastery quarter two, 
training ended, and it was during quarter two training as well, and he still got girls coming in. Um, he's doing a very good job. I'm very proud of him. He's putting in a lot of hard work. Um, and he's a guy who is, you know, he's a guy. First lay, first in five years lay report, okay? And this is, he was, he broke the streets. This is July 8th. Keep in mind, Body Language Mastery, guys. Body Language Mastery was available June 28th, June 29th, June 30th, July 1st, and July 2nd. He posted this on July 8th, okay? Let's take a look and read what we got here. He said, I had sex again for the first time in five years tonight. I started using Coffee Meets Bagel with basically the same pictures I use for Tinder and Bumble, except I have been getting way more matches. The reason I've been getting more matches is because Coffee Meets Bagel, Bagel forces you to lower your standards. You get 20 girls a day to look at based on your MMR. So if your MMR is low, you will only get to look at girls who are five and six. I ended up getting eight matches in a week. They are all what we would consider average weight women in their 20s. Not model thin, but average non-fat women. The woman in question is probably a 5.5. 5. She is early 20s with only a little pudginess and a non-ideal build. He said, I used a Tinder strategy I got from Justin from thedatingpipeline.com. I have met with Justin and done some night game with him, but no paid coaching. He's a good guy and has some game. Plus, his Tinder opener ladder works. I matched with her. About a week ago, opened with Justin's strategy and pitched the date. It with it was drinks after work. I followed John from Modern Life Dating's advice to do the Texan, Texas Hold'em strategy where you either call or raise the girl on how long you wait to respond. I think this helped as well. Before, I was responding as soon as I thought of response. Maybe 10 to 30 minutes. The video unlisted. John uses it as part of his post-mailing Line uh, list sign up campaign. You'll probably get it if you subscribe to his mailing list, which is modernlifedating.com. I asked her, when are you free to get drinks? She asked me when I was free. I told her that I was free that night and two weekend nights after. See, here, here's, good, here's a very good tester to see if she's interested. Okay, you let her know when you're available. The more dominant thing is just to set it and then see if she complies. That's a real hard screen. But this is a really interesting one because you can put this information out there and you could see, is she interested in me or is she not interested in me? Because if she is interested, she will comply. She'll help out. She'll help the conversation move forward. It'll really be a big uh, difference there. Um, and then the uh, – Atham says link for donations right there. You can click on that link, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. You get to see George Bruno do a little dance. If you give him a little money, he's going to do a little dance. Click on that link right there, and it will be good to go. Philip Franklin says, sounds like he's putting in some legwork versus those that don't even bother to try. Exactly. 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 Guys. Sex is sales. The quickest way to get better reactions and closing is to do more approaches. The quickest way to get more sales, knock on more doors, make more cold calls, cold emails. That is just the reality of life. Sex and sales, it's a numbers game. And with numbers comes competency. If I gave you a, a dart and I said, I want you to take this dart and I want you to throw it, and I want you to get a bullseye, but you only get one dart. The probability of you getting a bullseye is very, very low. But if I gave you 100 darts, do you think you would get a bullseye? Absolutely. And here's why. One, you have more tries. So it's statistically, your probability of getting a bullseye will go up just by dumb luck. Two, your proficiency in skill of throwing each dart is going to increase because as you throw each dart, you're going to be like, okay, I threw it like this. And when I released at this point, it was a couple inches south of the bullseye. So what if I throw like this? And every time you throw, you get a little bit of feedback. 
And this creates a feedback loop that allows you to optimize your dart throwing skills. This is the exact same thing with dating. You go on a date and you think, okay, this worked, this didn't work. And once you start getting in the groove and figuring out what works for you, what doesn't work, that right there is how you get astronomical success with dating, okay? Guys who don't take action, they lose every time, okay? Just bottom line. Uh, let's go back to the blog. He says, she chose one of the options. I gave her a time and a location the next day since I didn't want that long to go that long without contact. Good. Time kills all deals. Make your move. It's, you know, it's fuck or walk, sister. On the day of the date, she texted me that she was coming, and I told her to tell me when she was on her way. She texted me to push the time, push back the time twice before finally showing up about an hour after I originally set the date. I only experienced a normal level of female lateness because she gave me enough notice. At the bar, I had a drink already, so I let her order one. I did not offer to pay for anything. We talked about normal stuff with me teasing when it came to me. I teased pretty much I teased pretty much everyone normally. He made fun of me in the body language mastery webinars too, so that's very true. <clears throat> and make jokes, so it's not that much of a stretch for me to do this on a date. I wasn't like that until about 2 or 3 years ago when I really opened up socially. Uh, we were in the bar for an hour and 30 minutes. I didn't escalate beyond light touches and teasing her. I hinted that we should finish up after she had her second drink. And after she was done, I said, let's go. So she paid for her drinks. The place was pretty cheap. Outside, she's asking me if she was coming with me. And I said, sure. Very good. Very good. You took leadership. You took authority. He said, yes, you are coming with me. Don't be like, well, if you're okay, or I was wondering if kindly, would you give me a morsel of vagina, please? Nothing like that. Good stuff. I walked her into my building and up to my apartment. I asked her if she wanted anything to drink and got us some water. Chatted a bit, and I sat down on my reading chair encouraged to encourage her to sit. She sat on my sofa and we talked about 10 to 30 minutes while drinking water. She tensed up a bit, so I wanted to give her time to relax. I was thinking that I should try to escalate to a makeout. Absolutely. Was getting some nerves. It's okay. I couldn't, t I mean, a five year dry spell will do that. I couldn't touch her from the chair I was in. So I got some water for the two of us and used it as an excuse to naturally sit next to her on the sofa. Smooth criminal. Love it. On the sofa, I went back to chatting and slowly touching her here and there. Good. After working more touching in, I put my arm around her and we kept chatting. And I did more touching here and there. Finally, in the break of conversation, I lasered her a bit while chatting slowly, which means he stared at her a long time. Then moved in several steps. Then I put my hand on the back of her neck and started kissing her. There were several points in the night where she asked me, when I needed to be up in the morning, which made me suspect that she wanted to fuck. Absolutely. All your senses are, are right on, man. Good stuff. In retrospect, it was pretty clear. I did my standard making out, which is to take my time and run my hands over her. I am not very good at making out due to my lack of practice. Making out continued. I moved her around a bit and took my time. We did some grinding here and there before she, she suggested moving to the bed. Dirty girl. You naughty little girl. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. We did and got back to making out. Honestly, I could have pushed her faster because she asked me if I was queasy about intimacy. That told me that it, I pushed her farther, so I did. Yeah, I mean, she's giving you all the green lights here. Women will never be like, hey, fuck me. You know, they, they'll always kind of give you in between. Like, I remember I was trying to be... I remember one time I was trying to be like a gentleman with a girl because she was a single mom. I was younger in my pimping game. And um, 
you know, what happened was I took her on a couple dates. You know, we made out and stuff. But she was a single mom and I was trying to be respectful. I was like, you know, I don't want to fucking, you know, push anything, right? Because I was like, I still was like a little blue pill at the time. I was like 24. Um, her name was Kimberly. She was pretty, she was pretty cute at the time. Um, she was half Lebanese, half Puerto Rican. Um, nice little mix, tiny girl, really thin, but great boobs. It was fucking awesome. And, um, so I've taken her on three dates at this point. We're in the bed at her apartment. We're making out. And finally she had gotten to her limit and she was just like, are we just going to make out all night or what? I was like, God damn, girl, like I'm a dog, but I'm trying to be respectful because you got a kid. But that's when I kind of realized like all the girls, they just like – like you just it, – it, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how quickly a woman will have sex with you. I mean from that point, two years later when I was 25, um, she – I mean fucking I was, I was literally going on a date with a girl from Starbucks, one hour – one coffee, no venti, and I'm banging him within an hour of meeting him. Literally, four dollars and some change spent on a coffee. It is amazing how how quickly they give it up, especially when you got game and you're living that hot dude life. You got your shit sorted out. Um, she told me like, "Are we just gonna make out all?" And I was like, "Shit, bitch! You don't have to tell me twice." If I ripped her clothes off, banged her all night. Multiple sessions, woke up in the morning again, cooked me breakfast. She was all about it. She was kissing me multiple times on the cheek, like, I'm so glad I found you, blah, blah, blah. She ended up being a psycho. But I digress. It was a good experience. And pound for pound, blowjob champion, man. Something about Latina girls, they make love to your penis when they give you a blowjob. I'm telling you, they put their heart and soul into it. That is the, the fucking cure to world peace right there, man. That is the solution. Let's go back to the blog, shall we? So, um, let's see. Because she asked me if I was queasy about intimacy. That basically, she's like, are you going to fuck me or not, white boy? <laughs> that told me I pushed her farther than I did. I took my time getting her naked. I usually strip slowly and ahead of her. We took a bathroom break in her underwear, and she was face down with her ass facing me. When I got back, nice thong. Good lord, this girl was a fucking god damn. Sex was similar to last time. I did not get off. Maybe there's something to do with porn desensitizing your dick thing. You guys know my or my stance on porn. The only porn you're allowed to watch is the porn you make with girls. That's the only porn you're allowed to watch. If you can get a girl to let you film you guys having sex, you can watch that porn and jerk off to that if you need to. Okay? I lost track of time, but we fucked for over 30 minutes. Not sure if she came or not, but she had some fun facial expressions. I cut it off around midnight because I wasn't going to come and I was tired. I told done confidently she was wor a little worried that I didn't come. Guys, when you don't come for a girl – they feel like they there's something wrong with them. They feel like they're not good enough. Like, oh my God, I wasn't sexy enough. It's better for you to come too soon than not come at all in regards to the woman perceiving that you see her as high value or not. Um, this this shit keeps women up at night and some of them will ghost you. You know, some of them will some of them will turn around and you know try to save face and be like, "Oh, you're just gay. That's why. You know, you're just gay. You you don't like me. You couldn't come. You know, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> oh man, what these bitches do to protect their ego is hilarious. But it's true. Um, let's see. Let's go back to this. I uh, she was a little worried that I didn't come, but I was insistent. So. Afterward, I snuggled her a bit, made out some more. We cuddled for a bit on the bed while I let her come back into talking mode. Then I worked up the conversation a bit, so we were chatting and joking while getting dressed. She got herself an Uber. I told her I was walking around. 
I just did a normal chatting and walking out with a kiss on the sidewalk. Then I went back to my apartment. She said I could text her, hopefully, as I scanned back into the building. So I will. Very, very solid end of a five-year streak. My man, killing it, bro. Broke the streak. Congratulations. And this was only six days after Body Language of Enrollment had closed. Okay? Only six days. Things get better. And things get faster. Good work, soldier. And Atham donate five dollars. Thank you so much. Is it had a Japanese tea yesterday with a pretty lady? The Japanese setting made me think of Sensei MLD No Homo. Thank you very much for the donation. And guys, if you want to donate, if you find this stream of value, please go ahead and click on that link right there. Streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel you'll make george bruno do a little bit of a dance a little bit of a pump oh looks like my stream labs messed it up i gotta adjust the george bruno thing it's a little uh it's a little small there i have to adjust that but uh nick is definitely the man i'm so proud of this guy and that's my goal my goal is to make you guys 100% individually competent for the rest of your life. So you never have to resort to feelings of negativity about yourself, prostitution, because I've dealt with guys who are addicted to prostitution. You know, prostitution is just glorified masturbation, guys. Um, I do this to fix men, okay? I told you guys again and again and again. Business-wise, my business model is not effective. Theoretically, in the business world, I'm supposed to bleed you by selling you product after product after product. But I'm doing it differently because I just don't think that's a, a not, it's not a good thing to do. Because I have been on the other side trying to get some answers to multiple problems. And really, you just find people who are just trying to bleed you for money, not actually solve the problem you have. And that's what I do in these webinars. And Nick was quick to it, man. And I say he's a good looking guy. He was just, you know, he's, he had it all on paper. He's good looking, nice abs, uh, clean shaven, good fashion, five year. I, I, I couldn't even believe it. I could not believe that this kid, I was just like, dude, if I was, he's, dude, if I was that good looking, good Lord, thank God I'm not that good looking because I might have full blown AIDS. Whew. Let's go back to the chat. Rule Zero Dad says, mental spank bank. Good stuff. It always come back to bite you in the ass. Never video you having sex. Oh, come on, Eric. It's 2019. You, you got to get with the young whippersnappers on this one. Trust me. Trust me. It's, it's nothing but good press. Don't upload it to the cloud, obviously, that you can get hacked. But no, you'll be good to go. Jacob says, for me, I was being respectful and honestly turned off after a girl told me she was sexually assaulted. We cuddled and made out, but I was unsure since she had trauma. Yeah, dude. Actually, I, I hooked up with this one chick. Uh, she was a beautiful Korean girl. And she told me within an hour of our date, she's like, I, just, I feel like I should tell you that I was raped. I was like, God damn, what a fucking icebreaker, bitch. I am not trying to hear that. And then as the night evolved, she got crazier and crazier. And I was just like, look, um, you're crazy as fuck. I got to go. <laughs> I just she started fighting with some girl randomly at the party. And it was just it was just not something I wanted to deal with. Um, Winston says, remember, gents, jacking off is done by people who don't think they can get laid. Yes, very true. Edgar Cruz says, facts. Lou, what's up, my man? Sexually assaulted equals damage good. Yes, unfortunately, sexual assault does cause a lot of mental damage, and uh, it's not that it's not that fun to deal with. Um, Jared says Nick is a killer. Jacob says she kept escalating, and I was like, um, didn't you just tell me you had trauma flashback? 
yeah, some of the girls they'll tell you it, but you know they're they're with you for a reason, man. They're with they're with you for a reason, my friend. Um, if a woman says yes to you and goes on a date with you, okay, some part of her has entertained the idea of having sex with you. Think about that. Jared says, love the stash, Jonathan. Thank you, Jared. You're the fucking man. Christian Soda says, love Nick. Nick did the work, says CJ. Eric says, I'm old. 53 is not old, man. You still you still got it, baby. Hey, we, we, were, we were covering Leslie last night. Leslie's 56. He's still got it going on. You're good to go, baby. Shall we read another one? Oh, you know what? I forgot the – I got – I'm so sorry. I forgot to fire up the phone lines. Let me fire up the phone lines. Is there, if anybody wants to call in, uh, let me fire up the phone lines real quick. Let's go to Blog Talk Radio. Get this bad boy going. Phone lines are going to be open here in just one second. I want to do a couple more of his breakdowns. I'm going to show you the evolution of his skill because if you're a guy out there and you're sexually frustrated and you're kind of in a dark place and you're just kind of like, God, am I worthy – you know, am I, can I even get a girl? Can I get one girl? What is going on? If, if that is you feeling like this, man, I'm telling you, the results are clear as day. This is one man who got results from Body Language Mastery who decided to post a blog about it. Thank God. But the amount of men that have gotten life-changing results, there's 156 of them in the Facebook group, okay? Keep that in mind that over 200 plus guys have enrolled into body language mastery. Just some of them didn't take the, you know, it's just, it's sad to see, but some of the guys, they just didn't take the action to the next level by getting involved in the free webinars that are part of the, the course and the free Facebook group, all you got to do is talk to me and make sure you're not – I got to make sure you're not a crazy feminist or some SJW journalist and that's it. You're good to go. Welcome to Blog Talk Radio. Please enter your host pin. When finished, press the pound key. To start your show now, press 1 to hear important – your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Call in free with your questions. Right now, 657-383-1318. If you want some clarifications, if you want anything, dating, sex, fitness, finances, whatever, call in. It is 100% free. 657-383-1318. No call is too small. And the only question, which is a stupid question, is the one you do not ask. Keep that in mind. Pick up the phone. Take action. Get used to taking action. Fortune favors the bold. And fortune favors those who take action. Make the call. 657-383-1318. Let's go back to the chat. Ivor says, my life changed when I put... Bitch in my vocabulary when talking to women. <laughs> Put some respect on Patrice O'Neill's name. Patrice O'Neill's the real deal, bro. I love that guy. Lou says, I'm 50, turning 51, and you're killing the game, Lou. Killing the game. Jonathan, would you let Red Pill Judas into the webinars? Yeah, I'll, I'll coach the Asperger's right out of him. Off themselves, I'll call in. Good stuff. Your life can change if you call in. Just do it. That's right. Dude, I've been grinding on Tinder and other apps for the last month. Got only three dates so far, but managed my first lay after two years. My man, Julian. I didn't even know that. Good shit, Julian. Body language mastery, quarter two student, going on a two-year dry spell, completely broke the dry spell. Fucking awesome, dude. Congratulations, Julian. You are the man. Good job, my brother. Good job. Very, very good. Call in, guys, 657-383-1318. Okay, let's, let's read another. Shall we read another? Do you want to read another one? Let's do another one, shall we? Okay. All right. This is a date report. Let's, lead, let's read the ones. When, okay, wait. Is this? 
There's a really good. Okay, I really like this one. Okay, this is a really good. This is a French restaurant number close. Okay, I really like this one because it just shows you. Um, a, it shows the level of skill that he has that's increasing, right? And B, it shows you how it doesn't need to be like so crazy, like PUA, oh baby, you believe in magic, say this line or this and that. Once you have game, casual conversation, listen guys, I sold a mattress to a woman off of Craigslist one time and ended up fucking her, okay? I have had women stay at my Airbnb who, to my knowledge at the time, I did not know were married, made the advances to me, and, you know, woe is me, for I am just a victim of the hot dude lifestyle. I, I caved into pressure, and I had sex with my my tenant of the Airbnb who ended up paying me a whopping $600 to stay as well. I mean, these are the hot dude problems that you got to live with. And... When she came to the door and she met me, I was in my sweaty, clean up the Airbnb <coughs> clothing. And my mom was there too. And this woman was relentless. She could smell the testosterone. Real quick, let's see if we got anybody on the phone lines. Nobody yet. Okay. 657 383 1318. Call in, guys. <clears throat> French restaurant number close. I really love this one. Um, actually, Nick uh, told us about this in the webinars, and he wrote it on Facebook. And everybody's like, dude, you need to put this out on the blog. Put this on the blog. And he did. <clears throat> he says, I stopped by this French restaurant for breakfast on the way to refill my cold brew growler. I ordered a croque madame and was sitting around waiting for my food. Nick is a little sophisticated. And he goes to these little fancy places. He wears nice shirts, nice boots. He's a little fancy pants. I I called him a hipster, but he got a little upset when I said that. He's, he's got a little hipster in him, which I like it because hipster girls are hot, and they're, they're attracted to that lifestyle. This smaller, darker-skinned woman and very large Pakistani-looking man entered around the same time. I made eye contact with the girl and was wondering if they were together. Well, the dude left, and the girl sat close to me at the bar. She asked the barista waitress some questions and had this cute accent she was 5 4 thin mid to late 20s a 7 i asked her where her accent was from she said it was a mix of french indian etc she looks indian or persian i kept chatting with her she was making solid eye contact and helped carry the conversation so i was pretty sure she was into me and i don't know, i don't i don't know if you guys can pick this up but if you scroll back go to his blog dvctales.home.blog, right? Read his level of competency before the month of July and read after. Look how his level of competency goes up. Look how he's able to pick up cues and fully understand what's going on. I mean, like I said, you know, he literally can read the code in the matrix. Like when you study body language and you get the coaching with me, dating becomes easy mode. She was meeting a friend at the restaurant. As we know, women are rarely on time to anything. <laughs> so she was free to talk. I was going to ask her out with, I have to go get this growler filled up, but would you like to get a drink sometimes? But I realized I still had to pay for my breakfast. So I didn't say anything and asked for the check. We chatted for a bit more while I waited on the bill. And after I paid up, I used the line. I have to go get this filled up. But would you like to get a drink sometime? She said yes and pulled out her phone. Enthusiastic. I love it. I said something like, let's add you as a contact. Open the new contact section in my phone and handed it to her. Good stuff. She put her details in. I asked her how she pronounced her name since it looked weird in Persian. Apparently, it's Shawnee. I texted her my name while I, I was asking her about hers. And she said, oh... DVC or something familiar after getting the text. I told her I would follow up later, shook her hand, and left. The only thing I said is don't shake her hand. <laughs> Other than that. This puts me up to 20 cold opens for the year and my second number close outside of online dating this year. 
And it said in the in the Facebook group, he he added a little extra. He said like you know I realized at this point that you know I didn't need to do any fancy number game. I didn't do any need fancy pants anything. Like he just said that he just had a normal conversation with a girl and he got her number. Simple as one two three, easy as pie. Uh, Julian says. Oh, Atham says, nice, Julian. Christian Soto says, clap, clap, clap. Good shit, Julian. Good shit. The curse ascended. Beautiful. Easy clap, says Rule Zero Dad. Hard clap for Julian. I expect no less from the students of the Alpha Zebra. <laughs> Thank you very much. Morning, fellas. What's up? Charlie from Cultivate Crypto. And uh, Philip Franklin says, he gets sh- shirt tips from Ryan Stone. Don't worry, all. I'm here now. Says, what's up, Googs? Good to have you in here, sir. Um... Yeah, he just – Nick said that you know he'd realized that, hey, this is really interesting and very easy for me to actually get the attention and attraction of a woman in a very nonchalant manner. Big Gook says he's loving the mustache. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. As we know, the mustache is the way to go. Guys, if you find this stream of value, go ahead and click on that link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating. See if we got anybody on the phone line. Nobody's on the phone line. If you guys got, if you guys got any questions or clarifications about what's being said today in the show or on the blog, you can call in 657-383-1318. The number is right there on the screen. I'm going to buy a zebra one day and name it Alpha John. You do that. But just know that zebras cannot be domesticated, so good luck. Just like I, the alpha zebra, cannot be domesticated. Let's read another one, shall we? Are you guys enjoying these uh, these field breakdowns and everything like that? Are you finding value of this? Please kind of let me know in the chat. If you're lazy, just push the number two. If this is valuable, just give me a number two. If you're that lazy and you can't write out a comment, just throw a two in the chat. <laughs> Let's continue in the meantime. Okay. <clears throat> Indian VC girl. Tonight, he, then he ended up going on a date with her. Um, but let's go up. Let's see. Date report. Uh, see, here he gets to the point where he has like, here's one he has. It's a hot dude weekend. Let's read this, okay? And this was on uh, August 11th. Okay, this was nine days ago. This is a long one, so I'm going to read fast. <clears throat> I've had a pretty busy weekend. All my dates flaked or fell through during the week, so I didn't talk to a girl until Friday. But only one out of four dates missed Saturday, so I was hella busy. I canceled the date this afternoon so I could take a nap. So this guy's getting so <laughs> – he's get he's got so much abundance. And this is the mindset that you have, guys. Once you actually get your dating life – sorted out what happens is the biggest problem you start to have is that you just don't have enough time to date all these women because it used to be such like a high priority and such a you know literally the pussy was on a pedestal but you gotta fucking drop kick that pedestal so that pussy falls right down because that does not need to be a priority or something that you worship or chase after in life once you have this stuff figured out i'm telling you the only thing that you'll have problem wise is just not enough time to get out there meet date and you get to this abundance mindset and the funny thing is once you have that that's when the girls start picking it up and they all start running you down so now he's gone from being happy to doing cold approaches to canceling Dates because he wants to take a nap. (laughs) Online dating in the top 20% is really different from online dating in the bottom 80%. I get new matches every day. My icebreaker gets dates and girls show up. Look at that right there. Now he's starting to get a little arrogant and I like it. (laughs) Meat report, 23-year-old hot uh, redhead. I'm in a new hot dude reality now. I have over 100 matches across Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. 
Women are messaging me constantly. New matches every day. It's like entering the matrix. I could schedule 10 dates in a weekend, 50% flake, but more girls come to fill the gap. Tonight, I started it off with one date at 7 p.m. and messaged five girls to try to get one for 9 p.m. Now you're talking. None of them were buying it. This girl called me via Bumble the second we matched and was like, and I was like, what the fuck? I didn't know Bumble did phone calls. She wanted to meet me tonight, blah, blah, blah. You see, you notice how the tone in his writing changes too. It's a lot more like, he was a little bit more naive, kind of like, oh, I'm so happy a girl talked to me. And now he's like, God, these bitches ain't shit. I'm the fucking man. Line up, bitch. I'm in the top 20%. Get in line with the rest of them. <laughs> Ah, oh, breaking that dry spell and now just drowning in choice. I love it. I love it. Yes, I am that good. Modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. You're welcome. <clears throat> we chatted. She was very eager to come to my place. Then she called back, hung up. I called her back. We chatted more. She is too depressed to get in the shower. Red flag, which means she'll probably bang on the first night. I told her to get in the shower, put on a dress, and see me a couple hours at 9 p.m. Good stuff. Then my 7 p.m. date messages me to cancel because she is at happy hour with her coworkers. She sends me her number unprompted. Then the redhead starts messaging me. She doesn't want to ditch her coworker to meet me at 7 p.m. but invites me to some block party. I have some time to kill until the depressed girl shows up. So I say sure and go over. The redhead is hard to find. She is with 50s. She's with a 50 50s outdoorsman hippie. They invited coworkers, but no one else came. I talked to the redhead. Coworker stays out of it. Doesn't say anything. Note: I was dressed to kill, and he does have a very very good sense of fashion. I have to say that. <clears throat> they were dressed in work clothes from doing a kids camp. We talked for a while. Ban we talked for a while. Bands change work, around. Soldier. Oh, and oh, got it. Ruski with the uh, five dollar donation says, "Can you do a live breakdown of an infield? Love yours and others' content." Rolo, Richard, Ryan, Carl. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, you just got to give me a little bit more detail to let me know what it is, um, and then I can possibly make it happen. Just give me a little bit more detail. Um, I would need to see what I'm breaking down and, and what exactly is the, um, <clears throat> you know, what's the venue, what, what's what's exactly going on. But, yeah, definitely. Um, and go ahead and click on that link right, right there, guys, streamlabs.com forward slash Modern Life Dating Channel to make a donation. You get to see George Bruno dance. Uh, let's continue. <clears throat> I'm doing some light touches, thinking about touching the leg. You should have done it. Bands changed, things are lagging, so I took off about 15 minutes before I needed to meet Depressed Girl. <laughs> Email Depressed Girl wants to reschedule to 10 p.m. because she still can't get in the shower. I'm thinking either I get laid or I dodge a bullet with this one. I will try to take Redhead out again when she isn't straight from doing six hours of kids camp. Okay. Date report, 24-year-old designer. Kate met me at a coffee shop. She only dates people online. She gave me good eye contact at the start. She was 10 minutes early, picked out a table, so it was difficult to touch her. We got along quite well. She gave me strong eye contact the entire time. She was cute with a tight climbing body, a 6.5, very much punky creative vibe. She only dates people online because she worries it will make her hobbies awkward somehow. We talked about her ex who sent her 6,000 emails about cosplaying after she dumped him. I told her about the depressed girl who was calling me on Bumble during the date. She encouraged me to delete depressed girl. <laughs> I did later that day, but Kate one doesn't know. I think she took her jacket off when I told her I had to leave after 45 minutes, 30 minutes into the date. I got her number at the end of the date. Just just wrapped and then here's another date report. So this is his whole this is his weekend. This is one weekend. He's going on one, two, three. Four, four dates in a weekend with four different women. This is how you compound skill and make yourself very competent in the world of dating. 
I just wrapped up my date with K2. Cube Asian, 6.5 out of 7. She was curvy with nice tits for an Asian. Very feminine woman. We met at the museum, and I could tell she was into me right away. She went for the crotch hug to start off our date. For you guys that don't know what the crotch hug is, that is a module we cover in Body Language Mastery. If you don't know, sorry. September 27th, Body Language Mastery, quarter three. ModernLifeDating.com forward slash body language. Get in. Get in and start your own blog like our man Nick. She was a bit late, so the museum was closing soon. We walked around, looked at all the exhibits. It's a small museum. I made jokes, touched her a lot, mostly shoulders, which were exposed. After wrapping that up, I invited her to my place to get drinks on the rooftop. She agreed, and we walked over. She wasn't particularly defensive while we walked over. No closed posture. We went up to my place, got some rose wine, and up to the rooftop. You slick devil. I love it. We sat next to each other on the couch on the rooftop, bit of sun in my eye. We kept chatting. I teased her about being an accountant and all sorts of other stuff. I started touching her leg a lot around that point. Once we finished our drinks, I said, let's go down to get water. We did and sat on the couch, chatted some more. But this time I wanted the making out to start. I wanted the making out. I wanted to start the making out sooner, so I did. We made out. She would pull back a bit and want to talk, asking me questions about me. I pulled her in for more making out. Then we chatted some more. She wanted to know what I was looking for. I was honest. I would t- date her and see what happens. If this, if this was what, what exactly, this is what I would say. When she says what she was looking for, I would start, <clears throat> I would start vaguely, you know, kind of vaguely describing her. So I'd be like, well, I like girls who are feminine and who wear nice dresses. And then like, okay, let's just say she was wearing a red dress, right? And I'll, I'll just give you a, a, a short version. <clears throat> I would say, oh, I like, you know, I like girls that are feminine who usually wear, you know, nice dresses, who are educated, can enjoy a time at a museum. Um, red dresses are usually my favorite. I'm really looking for a girl that's an accountant, um, ideally Asian, and then um, I'm really got a thing for a girl's name, Kate. So, and then you know, she, you can't answer them seriously, and you got to say this stuff as she, as she, you know, you want to start off taking her mentally on a on a like her taking you seriously. And then get to the point where she knows you're full of shit and you're just fucking with her. She'll start laughing. And then when she does, you just start making out with her again. Period. Okay. Um, oh, shit. God damn. The man, the myth, the legend, Donovan Sharp is in the motherfucking house. What is up, Donovan? Good to have you in here. Thank you very much for the compliment who says rock solid Good breakdown. Work, <clears throat> and then thank you to Ruski. For another $5 donation, making George Bruno dance, saying, just any random pickup infield from YouTube. There's tons of them. Your Twitch thing was fucking very insightful. Thank you very much, sir. The thing is, with a lot of these PUAs and a lot of these breakdowns, you see, I don't. a lot of them use paid actresses. So I don't know which one's paid, which one's not paid. I can't really tell. So send me an email, questions at modernlifedating.com. And then um, send me some examples, and I'll see what I can do to do a breakdown for you. I mean, you donated $10 already. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. And um, uh, guys on Instagram, real quickly, you got two minutes before that stream closes. Get on over to YouTube.com. Type in Modern Life Dating, Interview with the Man, Episode 121, Field Report Breakdowns from Body Language Mastery, Quarter 2 Students. we got over 75 men in here watching right now. Get on in, and we will get you educated. You can read the blog as I'm doing a screen share and everything. It's just a far better um, <clears throat> user experience for you. I got a lot of twos in chat saying this is uh, very valuable. Tom Bombadil says, praying for your eternal soul. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. Please donate some money as usual, and I will continue to search for the Lord. Uh, Alex says, finding out how quickly a girl will fuck is awesome. You also learn to pick it up instinctively. Yes, exactly. Um, Jared says, pimping is a skill just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Um, very happy to see Donovan in here. I'm thinking to bite the bullet and get my own place. Living with roommates is cramping my game. Well, Tony, you're gonna be a professional engineer. You're gonna, you're gonna be, dude. You're gonna be killing the game, bro. You're gonna be making well over six figures or upper six figures for sure. So, I mean, if you're gonna take the leap, do it. And what that does is when it, when you, when you put the pressure on yourself financially, you know, guys who watch this stuff, who watch this content, they usually they usually rise to the occasion, you know? It's like uh, Donovan's in here, so I'm going to use a uh, a football reference. So, you know, it's like Tom Brady, you know? <clears throat> they He rises to the occasion. Good work, soldier. And uh, when when it comes down to crunch time, Tom Brady doesn't choke. You know, he makes the, the, he makes the first down. Uh, Atham says, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a girl who gives it up fast. <laughs> That's a good one, too. That is a very good one. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Thank you very much for the two dollar donation, sir. But yeah, you got you know if you're a guy watching this stuff, you're a guy who's self improving. So Tony, you know the biggest problem with you is that you don't realize how smart and talented you are. I've done consultations with you. Trust me. I mean, I'm a guy who calls it how it is. If you were an idiot, I'd be like, listen, Tony, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you're a fucking idiot. That being said, if you want to move out on your own and you can financially afford it. I mean, you have plans to get to the next level financially. I mean, like you're in Cultivate Crypto's Telegram chat where we're talking about cryptocurrency and how to get more Bitcoin and how to trade currency and make more profit using cryptocurrency. You're in here. You bought Body Language Mastery. You're doing consults. You're watching my show religiously. I mean, you have all of the symptoms of a go-getter. So I think that if this is something you want to do, living with roommates, I got to say, man, it does suck. I have done roommates and I'll never do it again. Um, it is, it just, it is what it is. And if you live with roommates, I'm not, you know, I'm not judging you or anything, but there comes a time that as a pimp, you just want to have your own thing. Um, and girls like it when you have your own place. Cause you know what they think? They're like, Ooh, I can, I can post up here. And that's when she starts leaving stuff around, trying to mark her territory. You know, my girl hangs her panties and shit just to like leaves, le leaves love letters everywhere. <clears throat> so she can ward off other girls. <laughs> Uh, so give it a shot. Um, let's see this, this blog report is pure gold. It, it truly is. It truly is. Um, my answer for that is, I don't know what I'm looking for, but then, I, but when I find it, I'll know. There you go. Uh, let's see. Ivers says Donovan Sharp, your contact, your content quality and views are amazing. Congrats on the success. Yeah, guys, Donovan Sharp actually, has surpassed 1,000 live viewers. I think he's got up to like 1,500 at one point. The, the, his show is just phenomenally blowing up. It's going to be the best red, like it's going to be the best red pill based radio show for sure. Bigger than Rule Zero, bigger than Red Man Group, bigger than everything. I'm telling this guy, he's, I aspire to his levels of fucking knocking that shit out to park. He's fucking, he's killing it. <clears throat> Tony's, uh, Cultivate Crypto says, MLD definitely tells it like it is. Jacob Odom says, getting into art, shrug. Okay, it is what it is. Do what you got to do, eh? Um, but you can do it, Tony. You can pull it off, dude, 100%. Let's go back to the blog report, shall we? Okay, so this is the girl who starts asking him all the questions, and she's like, because basically what she's like, she's, she's feeling, she's screening him in the middle of the heat of the making out, and I think he kind of dropped the ball by saying like, oh, you know, I would date her and see what happens, okay? Which means, in my opinion, if she's she's asking you this mid makeout, she's probably been fucked and chucked before. So you got to short, you got to short, short, shortcut this and short circuit it by never taking her seriously, keeping the the emotions light, happy, and keeping the thing, you know, keeping the sexual interaction going. I kept trying to escalate with tongue and grabbing her boobs. And asked, both were nice. She used her hand to keep from sliding mine down her leg to the pussy. But I did grab her boobs and asked through the clothes quite a bit. Made out for 30 minutes or so. At one point, she said she had to go home. We checked the time. She still had 30 minutes. So I said she had time to hang out more. We kept making out. I put my hand to the back girl's neck, pulling her in. Great eye contact from Kate the entire time. We did some really lit, uh, long laser eye stares. She ended up going home. I made out with her in the hallway a bit, walked her out, got her number at the doorstep, sent her home, told her we could date more if she passed her CPA exam. <laughs> uh, 
I love it. That makes yet another girl who was hot for me, but I couldn't escalate the makeout to sex. I am trying new things though, like placing my hand on my crotch, placing her hand on my crotch. But honestly, grinding seems better at getting girls excited. My man, I'll tell you this: when in doubt, whip it out. That's a quick, quick indicator. If you're making out and you're in an atmosphere that sex could occur, you know, obviously she consented to going back to your house. She's making out with you. Sometimes you just gotta whip it out, and it's like, what are we gonna do about this? We got a big problem here. <laughs> Let's read the last date report. It says, she was a bit late, 21-year-old barista. She was a bit late, but let me know ahead of time since the bar is literally three minutes from my apartment by foot. This is excellent logistics. I don't really care if girls are late. She lives really far away. This is another, that's, a, that's buying sign right there. If they're coming to you more than 30 minutes, she's probably going to fuck. Okay? She was waiting outside the bar when I got there came up to meet me, and gave me a full crotch hug immediately. Whew, we have got green lights all the way, boys. At that point, I was pretty sure we're going to do it. My man, my man, you look at the confidence that comes with this, dude. Look at the confidence that comes. Look, what day is this damn thing? August 11th. Unbelievable, dude. A little over a month after Body Language Mastery. And he's already seeing the game clear as day. Home fucking run, baby. I love it. This is the shit that gets me off. Fucking love it, dude. Absolutely love it. Oh, I fucking love it. At that point, I was pretty sure we were going to do it. But I was also a little concerned since she had a classic man's name. I reassured myself that no transgender ever had tits that big. <laughs> Good eye contact. We sat at the bar and my touching was more on point this time. Warmed up from Kate number two. Good. We had one drink. She said she usually doesn't drink more than that because it makes her sick or something. We chatted for maybe an hour in the bar before I suggested drinks on the rooftop. Oh, reliable. I like it. She agreed. So I paid and we went on away we went. I had good eye contact and was touching her shoulder. May have given her thigh a little, a light touch. Brought her back to my place. Got us water since she didn't want to drink more. We went up to the rooftop. It was cold and a bit windy. Nice moon though. We drank our water. I said we should get more water and took us back down. Yeah, let's, let's get some more water. Plausible diability. Good stuff. I went to the bathroom and she was sitting on my sofa. So I joined her. We chatted a bit more, maybe 10 minutes. Then I put my hand around the back of her neck and she came in immediately. No resistance from there. We made out, stripped, had sex. Seriously massive tits. This girl has a body like your fantasy Hawaiian girls except 15 pounds fatter and with bigger tits. I let her stay the night since she lives an hour away. Oh, money in the bank, bro. Yeah, this is it's all the green lights. I love it. And would have been Ubering at midnight. Made it hard to sleep since she was snuggling up super tight to me. Oh, we got a stage five clinger. We talked more in the morning, got her some coffee, took her to breakfast. Oh, what a nice guy. Back to my place for a quick fuck, gave her a peach and sent her off. <laughs> I love it, dude. Look at this animal I have created. I fucking love it. I needed some alone time, so I sent her off at 10 a.m. even though she has work at 1 p.m. Before leaving, she wanted to know if she would ever see me again. Oh, green light. You fucked her good, dude. The snuggling. You're going to see me again. Good, good, good. I said, I didn't see why not. Now, again, I mean, that's good. That's, pre that's a pretty good reply, honestly. You know, you could have been like, ah, oh, maybe. I don't know. Make sure you have my number, you know, and then say it with a shit-eating grin. I'm the king of sarcasm and not taking them seriously at all. So it, it, it's always a good thing. Keeping that playful tone with women is what keeps the relationship alive down the load, down the road, down the load. <laughs> oh, she'll be down on the load. My general policy is that if I seduce a girl once, I should try and do her at least 10 times. Good policy. All in all, pretty crazy Friday, Saturday, Monday morning. Date with three girls, made out with two of them, sex with the last one. My notch count hit three. He's already too deep after getting into body language mastery and under um, or in about a month. So he's fucked two girl, new girls in a month. That's not bad. That's really not bad, especially for a guy. This is low skill level. 
but he's killing it, which will probably be a joke number to me soon if this keeps up. I canceled my afternoon date so I could take a nap before my evening date. The redhead I met Friday is texting me and asking me to meet her at a place at 6 p.m. I told her I was busy, may end up seeing her Tuesday, Wednesday. Unbelievable. And and there's more. There's far more, far more, far more. Sun, look at that. Most recent one, a lay report, August 19th, yesterday. Yesterday, boys. The hot dude train does not stop. All aboard. Next stop, Pound Town. He is killing it. Fucking killing it. And this is a guy who put the work in. Makes no excuses. Did the work on his body. Did the work on his finances. Did the work on his game. This guy will be 20 girls deep by the end of the year minimum. Okay? He is killing the game, guys. Absolutely killing the game. Living in America. Good looking guy. But he didn't have the game. Now he got the game sorted out. Look at this. Look at this results. Let's go back to the chat. Winston says, my ex was shaking off her long jet black hair to mark my house. Still keep finding them shits over a month later. They do that. They do that. You'll see them do this. They'll, they'll go like this. They'll pull their hair and pull it out. And you'll see them just leave their hair. They're, it's an animal instinct marking their territory. Um, let's see. He is the chosen one, says Big Googs. Sorry I had to step away for a bit. I'm guessing John was grilling me about the PE. No, you're good. You got this, Tony. This is very helpful, but I'm having no success in dating apps. I've only been on them for about a month. Feedback and suggestions would be greatly appreciated. Uh, just watch the stuff. Get to quarter three, bring your questions. That's all I can say. I do a bunch of stuff on there. Um, Heidel, you know, you could be in better shape. We, we talked about this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything else. But you know, you could be in better shape. Let's just leave it at that. Um. Tony S says, "Heidel, are you in the Facebook group? Post your profile there. Help out, yeah." Metal Holmes says, "Purchased Body Language Mastery a couple days ago, and it's definitely been worth the money so far." Yeah, that's why I was talking to Teachable. Uh, apparently, there was a bug in the system allowing people to buy, and I noticed that you were able to get in. Um, I, that bug has now been closed. And um, you, you, you got lucky. That's all I'll say. You got lucky. Make sure you tune in for the webinars. Uh, but thank you, Metal Homes 406 for the compliment to saying that. Um, there you go. Jared says, we got an early buyer. Yeah, there's still bugs in the Teachable platform um, that allows some people to buy. But, I mean, that just shows you the value. People are literally bypassing, trying to bypass the system to fucking buy. Um, guys, that's going to do it for me today. So, real quick, again. Right there, modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. If you want these kind of results, scroll down. Click on this link right here. It's going to redirect you to the waiting list. Sign up now for the waiting list. Put your best email address in right here. Click subscribe, and you will be on your way to greatness. Again, the dates are September 27th, Little Wayne's birthday. We're launching on Little Wayne's birthday, September 27th. September 28th, September 29th, September 30th, and October 1st. Guys, get in, get the training, and go have a wild, sex-filled Halloween night. Why not do it? Why? Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Think about it. What do you have to lose, okay? <clears throat> Quarter three, it's four ninety seven. Quarter four, it is five ninety seven. Twenty twenty, this program's over. I'm not joking. This program is a hundred percent over. This body language mastery program, plus the webinars, plus the Facebook access, is going to be a far, far more difficult. Get in now while you still can, guys. Click like, comment, subscribe. Please share this with men who you think will find value here. And uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow as I have a great show planned with Charlie from CultivateCrypto.com as we discuss 
the recent volatility in the Bitcoin price. As you know, Bitcoin has been stabilizing around $10,000, a little bit over $10,000 at the moment. It is a great, great opportunity. I advise all men to at least own one Bitcoin. I think that this speaks for itself. Come 2020, it's going to be big movement and um, it's going to be good stuff, man. I'm telling you. So come in if you want to learn about cryptocurrency. Come tomorrow. Charlie and I will be doing the show. <clears throat> Raphael, welcome. You're new here. He says, Yogi Oatmeal is soy. Thank you very much. But I'll be up for people that, but it'll always be up for people that bought it. Yes, exactly. If you buy it, you, you have lifetime access. If you don't, I got nothing to say. You had every opportunity. Literally, I've been telling you to buy it for almost the whole year. Um, that being saying, that being said, tune in tomorrow. It's going to be the seven month anniversary of me starting Body Language Mastery. I'll be celebrating live on stream with Charlie from CultivateCrypto.com. And uh, until then, get out there, make money, make muscles, learn game, and I will catch you on the next episode. Until then, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.